using Ostel IDX. Before you get started, you will need to set up and register your instrument. When you first turn on your IDX, you will be prompted to select language, time zone, date, and time. You will now be guided through the registration of your IDX. It will take only a few minutes. During the registration, you will need to have access to internet through a computer or a mobile device to register your account at ostelconnect.com. You will be prompted to select a four-digit PIN used to log into the instrument. The next step is to select a password for the system backup. The IDX automatically backs up your data on a regular basis if it is connected to the internet. The backup code is needed to recover your IDX data in case something happens to your instrument. It's very important that you write your password down for future reference. Ostel will not be able to recover this for you. Now it's time to register your product. To do so, you will need to obtain a PUK code. Please note that you need to access the internet through a computer or a mobile device to do so. Go to ostelconnect.com and click Create New Account. Fill out the form. You need to accept the terms and conditions. You can read those by clicking on the link to the right. Then click Next. Please check your email. Click the link in the email to activate the account. Please log in. Fill in information about your profile and clinic. This will improve your content on your dashboard. You'll be able to compare your clinic with data averages from other Ostel Connect users around the world. Click Register Instrument to go directly to your own device page. Click Add New Instrument. Now you need the serial number on your IDX instrument. It is located at the back of the IDX. Fill in the serial number. You also need the registration code shown in the IDX. If you have trouble finding the code, please contact us by sending at support at ostel.com. Fill in that registration code and click Next. After successful registration, you will see your PUK code. Enter that PUK code into your Ostel IDX instrument and click OK. Next step is to connect to the internet. This will enable automatic backup and sync with Ostel Connect. Select Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Once you are done, make sure the wireless symbol and the Ostel Connect cloud is highlighted. This means that you have a Wi-Fi connection. Congratulations, your Ostel IDX is now set up. Let's start measuring. The Ostel IDX allows you to record data. This data is valuable for your implant treatments. The unit helps you to maintain a data set and tell you over time what happens to the implant. It helps you to make an objective decision. Remember that it is important to measure an implant placement for a baseline reading and again before final restoration. This video will guide you to help you get the best value out of your IDX. Before measuring, we recommend that you document the patient's data. Simply press and hold the tooth on where you will be placing the implant on the tooth chart on the screen of the IDX. You can now enter data about the patient. We recommend the use of the same patient number that you have in your own patient management system. If you share data with colleagues, this will be a big help in identifying the patient. You can also fill in date of birth, first name and last name, 
or make a note. We highly recommend that you complete risk factors in the medical data. You can choose the implant model by clicking on this field. You can see your frequently used implant systems on the left side. Select the brand and then the model. The appropriate smart peg type for the selected implant is shown under the implant. You can also complete information about the planned prosthetic solution. Click Save and then OK. The site is now prepared. You can now measure. Simply click on the tooth and measure from two different angles. That would be buccal lingual and mesial distal. The ISQ values will appear on the screen. They are color coded according to the ISQ scale. Click on Save. Choose applicable situation for your measurement session. This information will be useful for you later when checking on your ongoing implant treatments and Ostel Connect. You can now either or continue measuring. When you later perform the second measurement for this patient, click on the patient list. The easiest way is to search by entering the patient number. Make sure to have your Ostel IDX connected to the internet. Doing so, your data will automatically be uploaded to the Ostel Connect account. A connect, you will then see your ongoing implant treatments. Simply go to your patient records and search for the patient number and you will be able to see the implant treatment data.